St. Lucia, I'm here to support one of our wonderful members, uh, Saki, uh, for their annual uh, congress, which has been eye-opening, it's been fantastic, and I'm just so happy that they decided to have it in this venue, which is lovely. I think for me, the highlight is it's uh, two, three of them. I think the first one is seeing how Saki and his members are embracing the whole partnership and collaboration that uh, Zelda was just talking about it now uh, as part of the chairperson's report. You know, partnership with the South African Convention Bureau, uh, you know, South African Tourism, uh, mentioning the partnership with other associations within the, the sector and broadly, but also, you know, embracing the much bigger agenda for South Africa, the National Development Plan, the National Tourism Sector Strategy, but that whole thing, I think that was the big thing, you know, uh, for me, the take out, out, out of this, which we need. You know, South Africa is, we have lost uh, our number one slot as Africa's biggest economy to Nigeria. And, and as we were talking last night, uh, it's a war out there. Uh, Everybody is looking at Africa, and South Africans, with the expertise that we have, the infrastructure that we have, we need to sharpen our pencil and make sure we claim our stake in the marketplace. And I think the other one is, of course, you know, every time listen to Dion Chang uh, talking about the trends, which I think uh, our colleagues in the in the eventing industry, uh, I saw a lot of people smiling and think, wow, is this what happens? And to be able to think broadly and say it may be about IT, it may be about what the Generation X is doing, but people say, hey, it's got relevance to me. You know, I may be in this space, but it's important to know what has happened broadly uh, so that we can move our industry forward. So I think uh, coming to see what has happened to St. Lucia, looking at what uh, Isimangaliso Isim Park is becoming, uh, I can only see great things for this area uh, in the next five to ten years. Uh, God knows uh, KZN needs it, uh, South Africa needs it, so that we can live back on what we are known as a destination. We are the world in one country.